Good morning, everybody. I just want to make another follow-up to yesterday's video about this channel, God TV. Uh, that I, and I don't really know all the details, so I might be getting a lot of stuff wrong here. But in any event, I'm saying as far as the details with God TV, so I'm not really going to talk much about God TV. I'm going to talk in general about Israel. What, you know, people are saying, you know, someone said, you're bringing in the, the golden calf. Israel's a golden calf. The state of Israel's a golden calf. Zionism is a golden calf. It's me, it's me to connect me to. It's measure for measure for what they did. Remember what uh, Rabbi Uri Zohar, you know, when he became a Balchuva, he wrote a book. It was called My Friends, We've Been Robbed. And it's true. I mean, whatever you're going to say about Christianity, and, and, and they're going to say, well, it's not just plain Christianity, it's it's a deceptive form of Christianity posing as Judaism. Well, that's what Zionism is. It's a deceptive form of communism, atheism, disguised as Judaism. You can't have it both ways. And, and what other garbage is on Israeli TV? Out, uh, you know, and in Judaism... Heresy and atheism is worse than idolatry, according to Maimonides. And it's obvious, it's clear. I mean, at least the Christians believe that the Torah is the Word of God. At least they believe in God. The Zionists are atheists. The atheists have killed millions more than the, than the Nazis killed, the communists killed. And all these kibbutzim, they're all communists. They can get away with it, and and, and we're and we're worried about about people who believe in God and believe in the Bible, or maybe going to teach people to, to follow the Ten Commandments instead of all the debauchery and evil, murder, shvichas damim, gilirais, and the desire of the Zionist movement. And this, is what you're worried about. That, that, that people are going to go convert to another religion. They're already in another religion. Zionism is a different religion. Zionism is not Judaism. It's the opposite of Judaism. And I'm not saying this... The whole point of this video is not in support of God TV. Not in support... It's, it's, it, the Christianity issue is irrelevant. Not in support or opposition. The issue is... What do they already have on Israeli TV? What kind of garbage, what kind of fear, what kind of snus is already on the Israeli TV? And this you're upset about? And you weren't upset about what's already there? That's the point. That's the hypocrisy. And again, I'm not talking about religious Zionists just because they call themselves Zionists. It's a different thing. We could disagree with them, just like we disagree with the Christians on some issues. But when we're talking about the secularists, that's a koi for be'ikr. That's a fundamental issue. It's not just we disagree on, on, on some details. There's a fundamental issue And yet these people have stolen the souls of how many millions of people of Jewish ancestry in God's holy land. They set up this golden calf Medina. Not Nishkan golden Medina, of a, a, a Eglazov Medina. In, in the Platron Shalmalach. And, and, and you're worried about, about Christianity? A lot of these people, they'd be better off becoming Christians or Muslims or whatever. Of course we want them to be from Jews, but if they're not going to be that, this at least would be a little bit better than what they are now. Right now, they're, 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 they're the worst things in the world. They're the lowest level of existence. And it's not a hatred issue. 
It's a love issue. I want them to be better. I want to give them a chance to come back to Torah. And they've been, and, but like Uri Zohar said, my friends, we've been robbed. The, the Jewish people have been robbed of Torah by, the, by this death cult that Herzl started. And you're gonna you're gonna cry and whine about about God TV. It's a it's a non sequitur that you're you're gonna be upset about this, but not upset about that something that's it's it's you know you have you you you, you have a gaping wound and you and, and then you're crying about some little cut on on the other finger when the other arm is practically cut off. Not only that, you know how many people who come to Torah mitzvahs adarch these things, meaning it's a stepping stone. This is what Rambam says. They, you know, they wake up, they see, they start to see this, and then they see, all right, meaning people had nothing, and then they, they get into this thing. It's not all hope is lost. Make it like all hope is lost. They start to read the Bible, they start to read the Torah, and the thing is, our, our arguments... Our, our, um, what's the word? Uh, apologetics, the the Torah, the apologetics are much stronger than the Christian apologetics. We're not saying you're only going to be able to watch God TV in Israel. You can change a channel you don't like it. Maybe you're going to change a channel and watch it Dabru, and you're going to hear a Jewish apologetic message. And be, wait a second. Not only. Where the where all these things that I heard, you know, whatever it is, and you're on, it, does, it didn't make sense. The secular argument didn't make sense. The Christian argument, and now you hear the Torah argument, like, wow, this makes sense. And, and maybe it's not for everybody. Maybe some people are going to be happy with the Christian argument. Some people are going to be happy with the secular argument. Because hey, it's a free country. It's a free world. Let people do. People have free will. You can do what they want. They want to go be Christians, go be Christians. They want to go be Jews, go be Jews. You know, you're selling people short also when you're saying, oh, it's deceptive, this and that. Because the, the, the truth is, again, that Zionist message is even more deceptive because they, they're presenting it as, as Jewish, but it's not Jewish. It's a, a communist Marxist ideology. Uh, you know, Herzl himself wanted all the Jews to convert to Christianity. And he's the big you know, the, the big founder of their movement. I mean, I I, uh, I don't want to insult George Washington by making a comparison, but I remember, you know, as a kid, you know, someone, uh, I don't remember, it was like in a Hebrew school in Reform, that sometime, I don't remember, they said, you know, to the Israelis, you know, Herzl is like George Washington. George Washington was an upstanding, righteous individual with ethics and morals George Washington was a great man. George Washington he, it was 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 a, a role model and a leader. Herzl was a piece of garbage. He was a deceptive, evil man who started an evil movement and took millions of Jews away from Judaism and set up all the the, the dominoes for the Holocaust. Six million Jews were killed in the Holocaust. And, 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 and Weizmann, who they made the first president of the, of the state of Israel, Chaim Weizmann, he said, good, let them die. Let all those religious Jews die. We don't want them to be, to, to be uh, making our Tel Aviv into a low-grade ghetto. He called them dust on the wheels of history. This was in Young Judea magazine in the 1930s. This is who the Zionists are. And, and you're going to be complaining about God TV because 500 years ago there was an Inquisition? When right now Jews are dying because of Zionism? Right now, since 1948, 25,000 Jews have been killed in wars and terrorism because of Zionism? And you're going to be complaining about God TV because 500 years ago there was an Inquisition? You know, where you can't talk about anything. I don't understand can't turk them out anything. You know, it, it's interesting because both 
our holy Gemara, and also the, the Christians in their books say the same thing. You know, you're gonna you can be talking about the speck in this guy's eye when you have a beam in your own eye. The hypocrisy of the Israelis, the Zionists, who destroyed Judaism, and then they're complaining that someone else is beating them at their own game. That's why. That's why they're jealous. That's why they're so upset. You know, it's the same thing. Why? Why do the Zionists hate the Muslims? I don't. I don't have a problem with Christians. I don't have a problem with Muslims. We can all live in a peaceful world together. The Zionists, they don't like it because they're they're also they're they're stealing their own thunder. They're just like the Muslims say that our Jewish prof prophets were Muslims. When what, what they mean is that they 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 submitted to God. That's what it really means when when the earlier Muslim scriptures say this. But uh, okay whether it's in the Quran or the Hadith or whatever. But uh, people interpret it differently. Some people do. I mean, educated people don't. But then, um, that's what the Zionists do. You hear the Zionists try to say, the Chazanish, who was the biggest anti-Zionist, that somehow he was supporting the state of Israel when he was the biggest anti-Zionist. You know, the same thing. They even try to make Satmarav a shtickle. Uh, you know, they say the wisdom of the Satmarav that he... They said that uh, with Humphrey, something, they, they twist the Misa, and the same thing, they're going to say that the Ramban, and this and that, and, and, that, and that all the, and that all the Nevi'im, and all the Avis, as we show them, were Zionists. It's the same thing that the, that the Muslims do, and the same thing the Christians do. You know, it's, it's like George Carlin said, you know, they're, they're upset that they're, they're taking uh, their business. I know, I don't agree with what he said there, and that's, so I'm not going to quote it, but if you know the, the reference. But but here it's apropos, meaning when he said it wasn't. But here, with what we're saying here it is. How much destruction spiritually and materially, how much bloodshed, how much kfira, how many, how many people had this life and the next life stolen by the Zionists? Jewish people had this life and the next life stolen by the Zionists, and then they're going to complain about about the Christians or about Christian missionaries who are who are, who are rebranding Christianity as Judaism. You rebranded communism as Judaism. And it's not only the Zionists, all these other movements, all these other left-wing movements, and it all goes back to Shabtai Tzvi and to Jacob Frank. And you should read, really, what, what Rav Yaakov Emden said in those days, because the, the Shabtai Tzvi people were, were, were going after the Gentiles, too, and trying to, and trying to convert uh, Christians into their ideology. And they, and they succeeded. You look at how, many, how secular the world is because of these cults, these evil cults, of Shabtai Tzvi and Jacob Frank, and how much damage they've done over the past 400 years in the world, 350 years in the world. How the how much evil, how much secularism, not just stam secularism, but leftism, evil leftism, has been brought into the world by these cults: communism, socialism, Nazism, Zionism. The, the Democrat Party, all of these things, they all come from this root of these cults of Shabtai Tzvi and Jacob Frank. It's history. You can, you can, you can trace it. What's it all about? What's going on here? How much damage has been done to the world by the left? And they're going to complain about Christianity, which, although yes, the Jewish people have suffered because of also perverted versions of Christianity. But for the most part, what did what did Christianity do? It took a widely pagan world. The same thing, Christianity and Islam both. Yes, we disagree on some details with them. But for the most part, these two religions took the pagan world and brought it to ethical monotheism. And even the world that's still pagan today has learned ethics 
even if they haven't fully embraced monotheism, meaning when the when the Christians from England took over India, they didn't say you have to convert to Christianity. They welcomed people who wanted to, but they didn't. But Christianity was in India for a long time before that. But what they said was, you can't be killing widows. That we can't allow. I mean, with the way they said it was with a little British wit. You know, they said if, if, uh, if you know, we'll respect your your tradition, your custom of, of of burning widows. If you'll respect our tradition of hanging men who burn innocent widows. And then, for the most part, it stopped. Maybe there's some small pockets in India where they still do that. But for the most part, that type of fanaticism has disappeared because of Christianity, because of, because of imperialism, which is a positive force in the world if used in the right way. And the world's a much better place today than it was before. So maybe these communists, these atheists, who, who are unfortunately of Jewish ancestry and unfortunately in God's holy land, polluting and defiling the holy land with their, with, with their kfira, with their atheism, with, the, with, their, with, with their apostasy, and with their, and with their shvichas daman and gerayas and avodizara, with all the evil that the Zionists have brought to the holy land, and then they're going to say, well, you know, they give some money to the yeshivas, so that's good. No. So then, so then let me ask you something then. So then if the church started to give money to the yeshivas, so then it would also be good? Do you hear what you're saying? Oh, the state of Israel gives money to the yeshivas. So then, so then uh, they're absolved of all the evil that they do because they give a little money to yeshivas. You hear how stupid that is. So, so then again, so if the church would do the same thing, so then, so then you won't have a problem with with with, with Christianity anymore, because they, if they if they would give money to the yeshivas, shalom al yisrael, that's that's all that matters. Because they give money to the yeshivas. You realize, you realize how stupid that is. So then, so then, some people are going to say, "Oh, this is racist This is what's going to bring Mashiach. Is that the Jews are settled in Eretzel, even though the Chesed Lavram said there's only going to be a couple of thousand Jews in Eretzel when Mashiach comes. So that means that before Mashiach can come, all these Jews are going to have to leave Eretzel, or something's going to happen. We hope it's going to be peaceful. All right. So that that's just an obscure reference. We we don't have to care about that. But it, so 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 it's, it's part of the process of Mashiach. The Rambam says the same thing about Christianity and Islam. That's part of the process of bringing Mashiach. So therefore, we're supposed to be. And I'm not saying to support God TV. I'm just saying let them do what they want. Give them the freedom. It's a free country. It should, should be a free country. Let them do what they want. People can make their own decisions. Make a free market. That's all I'm saying. Or be consistent, which is never going to happen. Meaning, if you're if you're not gonna if you're gonna be against the Christian shows, so be against the atheist shows and be against the you know the nudity that they show on on broadcast TV. You don't have to even pay for it, like they do in Europe. They do that in Israel. But no. We're so upset because it's going to be on cable TV. All right, you know, the truth is, you could go on YouTube and watch, you know, a, a Christian message in, in Hebrew also. Or, or Messianic or whatever. They're going to block YouTube? So have a little common sense. Think about what, you know, but, but what's more likely to happen... God forbid, is they're gonna is, is the Zionists are gonna say because they're in control, it's their country. It's not our country. It's not a Jewish state, it's a Zionist state. They're gonna say 
oh, you, we're not going to have any religious shows on, and they're going to take down Hitap Root. I mean, don't complain about the darkness, spread more light. That's what we have to do. Because I know how many people who became Gerim and are from good Jews and abandoned Christianity. And again, no insult to my good Christian Gentile neighbors or even Christian Jewish. I don't care. I don't care that 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 these that someone else wants to go and be even they're born of a Jewish mother and they want to they 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 don't find Judaism does it for them. They they want to go to Christianity. I don't care. It's your business. I mean, maybe you know I should care. I don't know. But do what you want. It's a free country. But the truth is, a lot more people have come to authentic Judaism because of this. The thing is, they're not they're not welcoming the Gerim they should, the way they should be. But a lot of the Gerim I know, they came from these movements first. They were they were messianic, uh, you know, because they were looking for Judaism, not because they, you know they already had Christianity and they were looking for Judaism. And then, and it was a stepping stone. And the thing is, a lot of these people, you, you think that they're they're so religious. They're, what you think these Israelis, they're so traditional. Right? The traditional people, who who, you know, Masorati people in Israel, which is not the conservative movement in America, but the Masorati people in Israel, who who, uh, you know, who put on tefillin every day and keep Tars and Mishpacha, they're they're better than a lot of the. Modern Orthodox people in America, not now, now the modern Orthodox are a lot firmer than they used to be, but I'm saying, like, what modern Orthodox was in the 50s and 60s, you know? The, the, those people are not going to be fooled by, by God TV. You know? But we have to see the big picture. I mean, again, it's the same foolishness that's going on right now. Oh, if we could save one life, it means everybody's going to lose their whole... Uh, their whole economy and everything, but we'll save one life. But meanwhile, a hundred people are committing suicide to save that one life. With, 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 with what's going on now, with, you know, we thought it was going to be two weeks, something, and now it's already two, three months. It's like an showing, you know? All right, new... I, 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 I rambled on enough, but the thing is, these people are not going to be fooled by this. You're not going to have from people being fooled by this. And if you do, they, they uh, you, first of all, you did something wrong. If they, you know, and and they weren't really from to begin with. And you know, there, there are people who go off the derech. I, you know, a lot of these people go off the derech. I'd much rather, you know, everyone was so upset when the the girl Panette. Uh, uh, Oskar Schmatt, you know, became a Christian from from a Rebbe Sheinikel, and she became uh, whether it's true, it's not this. I don't know, you know. But uh, you know, the truth is, you look at at how how bad some of these other OTD kids are, and they're you know, they're much worse. You know, don't. What, what do you? What do you, you? You you're upset that this girl became a Christian. She she she. Look at what some of these other OTD people. They become mamish communists. They become the worst enemies of Klal Yisrael. And this girl, so I, she's going to go to church every Sunday, and hear and hear a message from our scripture. All right, so they twist a little bit. It's not like 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 Naftali Muster. Who's a communist? Who's trying to take away the RUIPA law? She's not going to be doing that. This 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 Shavi Panet. You know, she's not going to be fighting against religion, religious freedom in in America. You know, okay, it's a sad thing. Oskar Schmatt. But uh, but it's not as bad as what as, as Naftali Muster. It's not as bad as uh Hvez, the other one. Uh, uh, you know, also uh, not only whatever nonsense they doing to her body, this and that. 
but uh, his or her body, whatever. But what they, uh, is a, a card-carrying communist. There's a picture of the, of the uh, card that's a socialist, democratic, democratic socialist, whatever. This is much worse. We don't see it. You don't see that, that it's worse? So, so like I said, a lot of these, these kids are going OTD. You know, and, and a lot of them will come back. And when Mashiach comes, everyone will come back. You know, I remember, I remember going to Sklena Rebbe, saying, Rebbe, Chtafa, Grace, Atikin. Because, like, the British Shalom's will massacre and sign all this. Zechus Yeganaleinu. We don't have to do everything. We're not, you know, this... People take this idea, call Yisrael Arevim Zelazeh, and make it so extreme to uh, the collectivism. That's not what it means, call Yisrael Arevim Zelazeh. It, you know... And also, call Yisrael means, uh, you, you know, after means kamecha b'terem mitzvahs. These people are not part of Kal Yisrael. It's the same thing, just like this girl. Even she comes from, she's a, a, a Baneshek and a, a Rebbe Sheinikol, but she she's not part of Kal Yisrael now. She she's she oskeshmad. She's not part of Kal Yisrael anymore. But the same thing, these people. These atheists, these Zionists, and again, I don't mean the religious Zionists, I don't mean people who follow Rabbi Cook and Rabbi Soloveitchik. Hi, it's a different shita, it's a different ideology, we disagree, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people of Mamish, Koifer Baker, they're not part of Klal Yisrael. No matter how many times they sing Atikva and how much falafel they eat, they're not part of the Klal Yisrael. And so, we have to be happy that they let the Hamish people have a channel like Hit on Root their, on their cable. That's what's going to happen in the end. It's not going to be that they're going to take off the, the schmutz and the, and the snus and, and, and the kfira from their channels if we, if we defeat God TV. What's going to happen is they're going to take down our uh, Jewish apologetics from their TV. That, you know, I mean, I, I remember last time I was in Israel... I, I was in the hotel, and I turned on the TV. Here's a, a barrel wine is on TV, giving a history lesson. And then I was like, then I said to myself, what am I doing watching TV? I never, you know, the whole time I was in Israel, didn't watch TV when I learned. And then, except like one time, you know, I was in the, in the hotel, in the lobby. They were showing Gilligan 